What's up guys, how's it going? It's me, Tim Ui here, and I am here to help improve your life as an artist and help inspire all of you young creatives out there. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different, I guess, I don't know. This video is gonna be directed towards those people who are interested in graphic design and art, but are not quite sure whether or not which one to choose. Just know that this is all my opinion. I don't make the rules, I'm not law. Also, this is held from the perspective of an artist, so I don't know a lot about graphic design, even though I took a few classes in it. There aren't a few, lot of things I can say regarding graphic design, as in like difficulty, positions, and money, you know, all that stuff. But as an artist, I do have a lot of knowledge on that. Now, with all that being said, let's get into the drawing, and then we'll help you figure out which one you should choose or not. Before we get into the answer, Here's a few things that you should know. Number one, graphic design and art can both lead to very successful careers. As an artist, you have so many different career choices you can go down. You can be a painter, you can be a character designer for Disney and Nickelodeon, which by the way, if Disney and Nickelodeon are listening, please hire me. You can be an animator, and if you work hard and apply yourself, you can end up as an art director in a studio. As a graphic designer, you also have a lot of career choices you can choose. You can be a web designer, a logo designer, and also an art director as well. There are a countless number of careers that you can choose from as a graphic designer or an artist. Number two, each major has its difficulties and its simplicities. Now I can't say much on the difficulty of graphic design and how much work goes into it, but if I got one of my friends down here to make a comment about that, I'm pretty sure they would say that it's not as easy as people think it is. It can be pretty difficult at times. Now there are times where it can be easy, but overall it's not as easy as people think it is. From an artist standpoint, I know that being an artist can be very difficult difficult at times. There are so many things that you have to learn regarding anatomy, proportions, drawing, color theory, composition. Now there are easy times and there are hard times just like graphic design, but overall both majors require the same amount of hard work that you would put into any job. Number three, each one gets paid well depending on the position. Now this is probably the number one reason why a lot of people choose to go down the graphic design road than the artist's road. Because there's a lot more money involved in graphic design than there is in art. I mean, I don't have these statistics for that, but I feel like that's true, honestly. And while I see that this tends to be true in a lot of cases, I honestly don't think it should be the main reason why you should not choose art and I'm trying not to be biased here even though I kind of am in the slightest way maybe I don't know I mean in some cases there are times when a graphic design job will pay more than an illustration job and then in other cases there will be an illustration job that pays more than a graphic design job now on YouTube there's a channel called brush boost now the guy that runs that channel he mentioned that as a senior character artist working for Blizzard, you know, the guys that made World of Warcraft, as a senior character artist, he was able to make a six-figure salary. Now I know the position that he was at, he had to earn that position because he wasn't just some regular character artist, he was a senior in that area. But I feel like the whole idea of that there will be no money involved of art should ever hinder you from choosing that road to go down. So as you can see, and if you do a little bit of your own research, you will eventually find out that you can earn money from both sides. You'll be okay, I promise. But I think the answer to the question of this whole video should be pretty easy if you think about it. And that is to do what you love and work hard. I'm sorry if this simple answer turned the video into something that's kind of clickbaity, but it's true. If you love web design, layout, and logos, be a graphic designer. If you love anatomy, oil painting, and drawing, be an artist. If you don't know enough about each major, do your research. Hit up Google and search what can an art major do or what can a graphic designer do. For those of you who have already chosen your major, it's not too late. Now I know that's a lot easier said than done because everything costs so much nowadays and there's a lot of money involved with basically everything. But when you get the chance, Go for it. I say go for it. I've had friends who entered their freshman year as an artist and realized that maybe drawing isn't the right thing for them. And they switched from as early as their freshman year to as late as their junior year. And they were a lot happier when they chose it. There were a lot of graphic design majors that loved to draw, that loved to paint. And they even switched their majors as well. I started out as a graphic designer. When I first came to college, I honestly had no idea what I was gonna do. I just chose graphic design, honestly, because my sister told me to. I had no idea what it it actually did. Like those people that made billboards, I had no idea that was an actual job or what it was even called. But when I took my first drawing class, I realized that I really love drawing. It's something that I always did when I was in high school, when I was supposed to be taking notes. I was 
always doodling in my notebook, comic book characters or my own characters. But after my freshman year, I switched to art because I wanted to do what I love to do, and that's draw. And I'm so happy that I changed my major. I have a friend who was an upperclassman in college who decided to switch her major from studio art to graphic design. And she was enjoying herself because she realized that maybe painting and drawing wasn't for her and maybe design was. And it turns out she was right. Now let's start talking about parents. I know our parents are from a way different generation. I'm pretty sure there weren't as much creatives as there are now. With the internet being such an accessible thing, anything is possible for a creative nowadays. With websites like DeviantArt, Behance, Dribbble, even Facebook and Instagram, creatives nowadays have possibilities that weren't even attainable just 15, 20 years ago. Get a head start and put yourself out there. Create a DeviantArt account or a Behance account. You may not think that you're good enough, but as time passes and you learn more, you will eventually grow to be the great artist or designer that you can be. If your parents are worried about you being a graphic designer or an artist, show them the research that you've done on how successful they could be. Or maybe you can just show them this video. Tell them not to worry. You're gonna be just fine as long as you put in the effort and the hard work, just like any other job. Don't make decisions based on what you assume about one or the other. Do your research and figure out what you love to do. These are just some things that I wish someone had told me when I was younger. Don't be a graphic designer that wants to be an artist. Don't be an artist that wants to be a graphic designer. It's not too late to do what you can and make yourself happy. So what do you guys think of this whole topic? Is there anything that I missed? If you got something to add, go ahead and write a comment down below, especially if you think that it will help someone watching this video. I really enjoyed drawing the Guardians of the Galaxy for this video. If you haven't watched their new movie yet, you should totally check it out. It's definitely worth watching. And in other news, the Infinity War trailer totally leaked on YouTube today. So if you act really fast, you can catch it in time before Disney takes it down. Or you can save it till the actual movie starts. Anyways, I hope that I helped steer you guys in the right direction on whether or not to choose graphic design or art. But if you found this video helpful, go ahead and show this to a friend of yours that's struggling with the same decision. I'm excited to announce my new online shop at imprint.com. There you will find each illustration created for each video. I'll be sure to put a link down in the description below. If you want to see more doodles, drawings, and everyday things, go ahead and check out my Instagram. Instagram at tim.ooee. If you want to contact me for a contract or commission, my website is always open for you guys. All you have to do is just fill out your name, a message, and what you need, and I will be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. I plan on having a new video up every single week, so stay tuned for more. See ya!